So welcome to today's class. Uh, today we are going to continue our example uh, from chapter 1 of the Dragon Book. We are talking about one assignment statement. So it started with this code here which is <coughs> in position float rate that was the code position is equal to is assigned rate into 60 that was the code <coughs> that was the assignment statement that we had now this assignment statement was fed uh, to a lexical analyzer the output of the lexical analyzer is it identifies remember what it identified it identifies number one mm, the first it says is there are uh, two identifiers identifiers what are the identifiers position and rate second it identifies <coughs> two operators and what are the operators assignment and multiplication let's write it like this three <coughs> it identifies a delimiter delimiter matlab sentence kaan khatam hota hai in case of English, it is full stop. In case of C, it is semicolon. Okay. Now, this the output of this lexical an analyzer goes to the syntax analyzer. <coughs> and remember this in English, what is the equivalent? In English, we say we first uh, separate words. That's for English. Huh? This is happening in C. English may be the same thing happens. <coughs> we separate the words. And identify parts of speech and just like that here also uh, we separate all the um, words here position equal to rate star 60 semicolon and we identify all the parts of speech <coughs> see me to noun pronoun hota nahi hai, so it will say identifier operator delimiter it's the same now it passes to the syntax analyzer and the output and what is the purpose of the syntax analyzer and the syntax analyzer verifies make sure that <coughs> the sentence is grammatically correct and in order to prove that a sentence is grammatically correct it proves it by drawing a syntax tree <coughs> we have already done this before in the previous class so we'll just uh, write the uh, draw the completed drawing so remember how it started this is the assignment operator the left hand side is the position the identifier position on the right hand side you have a right hand side but right hand side is a multiplication expression what is the root here the root here is the <coughs> product symbol star this uh, multiplication has has two two operands the first one is the uh, rate and the second one is 60 the constant Oh here sorry we forgot there's no constant also. Four constant. Constant is sixty. So whatever the lexical anal analyzer feeds to the syntax analyzer, <coughs> syntax analyzer just checks the grammar and it creates this tree. And what is this tree? This tree is called the syntax tree. Now syntax tree is fine because once we have drawn the syntax tree, remember how it works. Whenever we have a syntax tree. We verify, we have to check whether the the yield of the syntax tree, the seal. If you just walk through this. So you can see that position equal to assigned rate into 60 is the yield of this syntax tree. So since it is the yield is correct. So you can verif we have verified that this, this sentence or this statement is a grammatically correct C statement now this this syntax tree that we have mm, that we have seen now is passed to uh, the next tool and what is the next tool the next tool is the semantic analyzer and what is the purpose of the semantic analyzer it checks but cemented and analyzer checks whether the grammatical grammatical sentence is meaningful and <coughs> the monkey it's a banana that's a grammatical sentence and it's meaning also so there. There is a monkey bandar eating cow, cow, uh, kela. Fine. But what happens if we reverse it? If we say the banana, a banana is eating the monkey. That's going to be grammatically correct, but the meaning is wrong. Okay. 
so in case of english is very difficult but in case of c it's much easier <coughs> so let's talk about this now so we have just seen that this particular sentence or statement position equal to rate into uh, 60 is a correct grammatical sentence but it is not right because of two factors first look at this rate here this rate is a float variable and what is 60 60 is an integer constant it is an integer constant and now we claim that this multiplication this yeah, yeah multiplication is wrong a wrong yeah is not possible you cannot multiply these two things so the question is why is it wrong <coughs> this semantic analyzer somehow figures out that the rate into 60 is an invalid operation so why is it an invalid operation because we are multiplying a floating point number to an integer yeah और फिजिकली हार्डवेयर में क्या प्रॉब्लम है उसका आंसर लाइज इन हार्डवेयर इन लाइज इन कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर ए कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर में यू हैव दिस सीपीयू ये सीपीयू में यू हैव दिस यू हैव दिस आलू आपको याद है पढ़ाई कंप्यूटर आलू का मतलब क्या है इनपुट कहां से आता है कम्स फ्रॉम रजिस्टर है ना तो आपने देख लिया वेन एवर यू गिव इट टू दिस आलू आप कर रहे हैं ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू सी जो भी ए में है जो भी बी में उसको आपने यहाँ पे मान लीजिए आप मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे हैं तो यू आर सेइंग ए इंटू बी इज असाइन द इज असाइन टू सी सपोज ए में अगर ए में अगर फाइव है और बी में अगर टेन है तो सी का आउटपुट क्या होगा फाइव इंटू टेन फिफ्टी ऐसे तो होगा ना अगर इसमें आप, आपने अगर मल्टीप्लीकेशन को चूज़ किया है यहाँ पिन है ना ये पिन में आप वेल्यू डाल सकते हैं इन में आप ऑपरेशन चूज कर सकते हैं प्लस करो माइनस करो वगैरह वगैरह सो दिस इज हाउ दिस इज हाउ इट विल वर्क बट वट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर आलू आलू का रिक्वायरमेंट विल बी इनपुट शुड ऑल्सो बी इंटीजर आउटपुट शुड ऑल्सो बी इंटीजर एंड द ऑपरेशन विल ऑल्सो बी इंटीजर दैट वट आलू इज बट सी पी यू के साथ में और एक यूनिट लगा रहता है आपको तो पता है देर इज एन अदर यूनिट लेट्स फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट इसमें भी इसी के जैसे ऑपरेशन का एक डंपर है आर्किटेक्चर व्हाट विल बी द नेम ऑफ द फ्लोटिंग इसमें आप ऑपरेशन इंसर्ट कर सकते हैं यू कैन इंसर्ट मल्टीप्लाई डिवाइड प्लस एक्स एम एम वन सो एक्स एम एम जीरो का कंटेंट एंड एक्स एम एम वन का कंटेंट विल गो टू दिस डब्बा दिस यूनिट एफ पी यू एंड वट विल बी द आउटपुट द आउटपुट दैट विल कम विल अगेन गो टू एनदर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट यूनिट एक्स एम एम टू ठीक है सो वी हैव जस्ट सीन दैट दिस एफ पी यू इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट पीस ऑफ हार्डवेयर कंपेयर टू सी पी यू तो नाउ यू लुक एट दिस ऑपरेशन रेट रेट क्या है रेट इज एन फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट एंड वॉट इज सिक्सटी सिक्सटी इज एन इंटीजर तो अगर दोनों इंटीजर होता इट वुड हैव हैपन इन सी पी यू दोनों फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट होता इट वुड हैपन इन एफ पी यू रेट इन टू सिक्सटी का क्या मतलब हो गया रिमेंबर दैट फ्लोट एंड इंटीजर के नॉट मिक्स और क्यों नहीं मिक्स करेंगे बिकॉज ऑफ हार्डवेयर दे वर्क इन कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट एरियाज डिफरेंट यूनिट्स कौन दोनों में कोई कनेक्शन नहीं है इसी के कारण से रेड इंटू सिक्सटी इज एन इन वैलिड ऑपरेशन सो वट इज द सोल्यूशन द सोल्यूशन इज टू यूज ए कन्वर्टर कन्वर्ट कैसे करेंगे क्योंकि फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट कैन हैंडल डेसिमल्स ऑल्सो वी हैव टू टेक द सिक्सटी एंड मेक इट take the 60 and make it 60.0 which is a floating point representation okay you take this multiply yahan pe float hoga yahan pe rate hoga which is a float okay now ye multiply me what will be the what will be the input the input will be this converter and what is this converter this converter is int int to float aur wo converter mein input kya jayega द वैल्यू सिक्सटी और इसका आउटपुट क्या निकलेगा दस टेक सम अदर कलर इसका आउटपुट क्या निकलेगा इसका आउटपुट आफ्टर दिस यू हैव दिस कन्वर्टर नो दिस इज द कन्वर्टर आफ्टर दिस कन्वर्टर कम्स वट विल बी द आउटपुट द आउटपुट विल बिकम सिक्सटी पॉइंट जीरो नाउ वंस दिस सिक्सटी पॉइंट जीरो इज देयर नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज ऑल्सो फ्लोट है ना दिस इज ऑल्सो फ्लोट रेट भी फ्लोट है 
variable rate is also float 60.0 is also float so which of the which of the units will work will it be fpu or cpu fpu fpu kyunki ek mein hoga rate jo bhi value hai rate ka aur dusra hoga 60.0 hai na and now you will multiply here and whatever is the output will come out here Yes, That's the reason why RAID into 60 is an invalid operation. It's a wrong operation. This is our first error. Now, what is the second error? We have already done this. So, we have already fixed this portion. And now, if you multiply RAID into 60, remember, if you are multiplying float rate into float 60, what is the result of this multiplication operation? And this will be RAID into 60.0. This is the output. This output is float output. This right hand side, we have just figured out, should be float. But in the left hand side, the position. Position kya hai? Position is an integer. And right hand side is float. So, this operation is also wrong, na? Yes. This This operation is also wrong. Yes, this is also wrong. So, this is the first one, read into sentence is an invalid operation. And what is the second wrong thing that we have just seen? Position is equal to left hand side. This also is wrong. Position equal to right hand side. This also is wrong. Right hand side is float and position is int. That's why it's wrong. So, what is the solution again? The solution is to use another converter. Here, this is the position this is the left hand side right hand side may whenever remember this entire thing the result of this multiplication is a float so we are going to use another converter this time but this time it will be ultra conversion it will convert from float to int this is the conversion this float to int will now convert this whatever is the result to an integer so now remember position is also an integer and this right hand side this is also an integer so now you tell me uh, which of the harder un units will uh, participate in this operation ye assignment statement kaha pe chalega position equal to right hand side cpu cpu right this will this activity will happen in cpu this will happen in cpu aur ye jo multiplication ke sath mein ye jo portion pada hua hai ye portion pada hua hai this will happen in f you. This is the purpose of the semantic analysis. Oh, by the way, this output we have, as we have discussed earlier, this output output is therefore called the semantic tree. This is called the semantic tree.